difficult situations. If we only know then what we do now is that we had such a precious angel living amongst us and God took her home on December 27th. Before I close, we would also like to thank Ali Botts in organizing the clothing sale and the luminary send-off. The scholarship we are forming will be geared towards a college student attending a private school, completing their first year of schooling in a health-related field. It was Chelsea's dream to continue her education and realize there is not much financial help after that first year. With that being said, thank you for all the love and support we have received from so many in our community. This journey we are on is not easy, and your continued thoughts and prayers mean a lot to us. As for you 400 runners about to compete, I want you all to find that second gear as you reach that 200th mark. Our dear Chelsea always seemed to find hers there. I guarantee you, and it won't matter what color your jersey is, Chelsea will be flying high above, and of course, leading the way, and will be pushing you to the finish line. Always remember, you will never know how far you can fly until you spread your wings. Keep flying high, our beautiful Chelsea. Harvest go on. Leaving a legacy, but how is one remembered? The official naming of this meet, the Chelsea and Kenny's Early Bird Co-Ed Track Meet, is a large part of how I want Chelsea to be remembered. Through track and, though track and field isn't the only thing Chelsea should be remembered for, it was a large part of her life. Her career began with the Little Mustang Relays, continued throughout middle school and high school, and concluded at Wartburg College. She ran high school track and field for both Southern Cal and South Central Calhoun from 2008 to 2011. During that time, her name became synonymous with success as she competed at a high level, not only here, but in meets throughout the area. Chelsea qualified for and competed in 16 events at the State Track and Field Championships at Drake Stadium and also competed at the Drake Relays. She placed in five individual events as part of seven placing relays that placed at the state meet. Chelsea went on to continue her track and field career and passion for the sport at Wartburg College, where her drive and energy led to success there athletically, as well as earning her college degree in just three years. Everyone who knew Chelsea understood the 400 meter dash was her passion. The many competitive and yes, friendly 400 meter races she had with a young lady by the name of Abby Hessner from East Sac County will always be remembered by this coach. She set the current SEC 400 meter dash record her senior year at the state meet in 58.08 seconds, placing third overall in class 2A and she holds the current South Central Calhoun facility record of 59.15, also set that same year. She proved to be very versatile, competing in eight different events of the 19 held for the girls at state track team. An additional legacy that Chelsea leaves behind is something that was reflected in the way she was remembered at Wartburg College this past January, and also so true in how she handled herself as an athlete at Southern Cal and South Central Calhoun. Chelsea's one of the hardest working athletes and even a better teammate. She was always one of the first on the track for practice, last to leave. She was committed to making herself and those around her better and brought her work ethic and encouragement to practice every day. It was very normal to see her working out on her own during her spare time in the weekends and evenings. Her love and passion for this sport was second to none. conversation Chelsea had with myself and many others surrounded the idea of her moving back here someday and coaching. I know that she spent a lot of time with her brothers and sisters, teaching, mentoring, and encouraging them in the sport she loved. Now she has the best seat in the house from which to coach. Jim, Jody, Ashley, Derek, Emily, Josh, Andrew, the entire Hincanius and Logger families, our hearts and prayers go out to you. It is my hope, the passion Chelsea had for track and field, lives on in the ethics of competing this meet in the future. Fly high, Chelsea.
At this time, we would like to commemorate this occasion with a plaque designed with the help of Mr. Barry Stevens and Trophies Plus to be presented to the family that has engraved on it Chelsea's favorite Bible verse, Isaiah 40, 31. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. As you can see, there's a lot of lanterns around the crowd. At this time, we'd like everybody that has a light nearby to go ahead and begin lighting the lanterns. We're going to release them with the Antanius family releasing theirs first. This will take place during our moment of silence. As stated earlier, Chelsea set the 400 meter dash record her senior year at state running a time of 58.08 seconds. A time of 58 seconds has been posted on the finish line timer. And we will pay honor to Chelsea and her family with a moment of silence. That will begin in just a minute when Jim and Jody and all the lanterns are ready and Jim and Jody will begin with Bell Fire to start his gun to, to designate that moment of silence. I know there are many, many, many lighters being passed around the crowd from person to person, so as soon as we get these lit, we'll do this. You can light the entire the entire square. There's not a wick there, but you just light the entire square. Oh, 
just kill the wind. If you have one that's starting on fire, you might want to release it, otherwise we just won't release it. Okay, I would, if they're not lighting, that's okay. We do want to have a moment of silence, so. Jim's over here. Jim's over here. He's trying to get one to go. He's trying to get one to go. heads for a moment of silence, please. Thank you. The meet will continue with the 400 meter dash in about three to five minutes.